Hey everyone, Lachlan here, the Exum, back with another tutorial on the melon and pumpkin farm using the observer blocks. Because unfortunately they've changed how the observer blocks work a little bit, and so we've had to come up with a new design for farm. And I have one just there. So, let's talk about this farm a little bit before we show you how it works. Uh, so, once again, this farm is completely tileable, and if anything, it's actually a bit better than this farm over here because this one will only harvest the one the plant that grows rather than harvesting all of them. As you just saw there, that plant there grew. Not all of the pistons went off. Uh, it's also a bit cheaper. This one has a redstone block and the redstone dust and torch involved. This one does have an extra observer block, but I think it's still a bit cheaper than what we have over here. And it is a little bit smaller as well. As you can see, this one is only one, two, three, four blocks high, whereas this one is one, two, three, four, five blocks high. So we save a little bit of space there. And we can definitely make it more uh, stack like this a bit better because of that. So now right on to how it works. So what happens here is that when a plant grows, it will the observer block here detects that and will power the piston above. That will extend for a moment and pull back this observer block here, which powers the piston below through the piston quartz connectivity, which I'm not going to explain in too much detail here, but essentially it's a function of the pistons that allows it to be powered even if it's not getting direct power. And that will make this piston extend which then updates this again, pushing this observer block back out and harvesting the plant. So it works great. Perfect for us. So as you can see, you saw it fire off there. Definitely is a working design and is completely tileable, completely stackable like this. And I'll show you guys how to make it. It's pretty simple. Uh, some of you may have been able to figure out how to make it just from that little uh, thing there that I showed you, but for those of you who just want a little bit more detail, I'll show you how it's done. So, we make this little shape here, a little X here. We're going to have our water in here, and this is where we grow the plant on the dirt here. So that's pretty simple stuff. We put this here, put in a piston, and this is the piston that's going to be harvesting the plant when it grows. We're going to put this dirt block down for a moment just to place our observer block. So then we'll put a sticky piston there, and this is the piston that sort of makes resets and makes it harvest. We just do it like that. And that is the whole setup, believe it or not. That is how you make this entire thing. Uh, we can just extend that out as far as we want, so we could put a few more like this in. If we just go like this here. We can send this out as far as we want and it will continue to function just as well. So here we go, put that in, put these in, till the ground here, put in our seeds, we can put in our observer blocks like this now, we don't have to place down that block, we are able to place it on the side of the other one, put in our sticky pistons, just like so. And these ones we don't have to put on the edge, we can put them along here like this. And there you go. As you can see, it's there and it's perfectly functional. So, if I was to grab a melon now, we can sort of see it in action. So if we place a melon here, there you go, you see it just harvests the one melon there, the rest of the pistons don't fire. Just like that. And we saw it going off a couple of times over here. Uh, so we know that it's not, you know, some sort of magic trick that I'm doing here. It does actually function in, you know, different situations. And this is a completely functional farm, much cheaper than the old one, and still working in the 16W44A snapshot. So there we go. Saw it fire again. So. I hope this design helps a few people out, and hopefully you can do some pretty cool things with it. That's all for today though, I've been Lachlan, 
Dirección, así de ahí.